last week. We were obsessed with this matchup, and it, it honestly, it threatened to have the makings of a dud. Let's just call that out. Uh, the Dolphins had lost two in a row in California. Apparently, they couldn't play in cold weather. It was supposed to snow. Yep. It could have been really bad. It yep. could have gone really ugly for them, but it didn't. Visually, it looked great. It was snowing. The football was fun. It was electric. Peter, what did you learn about either one of these teams yeah, watching I, it firsthand? I'm taking it. For, I'm going to go Dolphins on this one. I know that sounds crazy. Like your takeaway was about the Dolphins, no, they were but. Tough. Tua had never won in the cold weather. Tua had never played well in cold weather. And whether it was snowing those first three quarters or not, it was cold. It was frigid out there. And I thought the Dolphins had a game plan. And it wasn't Tua to Tyreek through the air. It was, let's get our run game going. Raheem Mostert ran all over that Bills defense in this game. And this one here is an angry run, and there's plenty others that he had. Um, I thought that McDaniel leaned into the weather thing. I spoke to him a bunch during the week. He was like, we're not going to run away from it. We know what everyone says. He also knows who they're going to have to play in the playoffs if they get there. I want to do a little full screen here of the teams that are likely going to be hosting playoff games in the AFC, all right? Mm -hmm. And the temperature that they're going to have to face. These are just the possibilities. Right now, it's 31 degrees in Buffalo. It's 33 degrees in Kansas City. It's 33 in Cincinnati. It's, it's balmy 46 and 47 in Buffalo. But if the Dolphins make the playoffs, they're going to have to go in to those elements. And I got the shirt. What do you got? He wore it at practice. Oh, you got that shirt? McDaniel, he made sure that I had this thing. He wasn't embarrassed about it. <laughs> he wasn't embarrassed. It can't be his shirt. It's too big here. He has a, he has a schmedium. I this is the it. one I got. <laughs> and it wasn't like they're scared of it. I was like, is there, and, you know, I found a way to get the shirt because I'm a great reporter. And he's, and I was like, <laughs> you know, is it cool if I show it on the broadcast? And they're like, yeah, no, we're not scared. Like that, like, we're fine with that. This isn't something we're embarrassed by. We're going to get blown out. And we're going to resent and regret. I think the Dolphins. So they got, they, a moral, they got a moral victory? Yeah, they got a moral victory in a lot of ways. I think count? they shut a lot of people up. Pop Warner? I, no, I think it meant a lot to them. I don't and think those count like, there either. That narrative's done. <laughs> they're going to have to go to the playoffs and do this. I don't, they lost the game. That's yeah. fine to me. Mm -hmm. But they're going to go on the road in the playoffs, and they're not going to have to hear about the cold. They played well in the cold. They were fine. They're built for the cold. I'm okay with what the Dolphins But you just landed on it. <laughs> they can play in the cold. Can they play in the snow? Like that, I feel like that was the thing. You know what I mean? That, that might right. be the they're new thing. Eight, and then I know. And, like, Tua just was in that giant parka, and he just kept getting lower and lower and lower on the parka. <laughs> like, he was, like, in this giant coat. It was like he was Josh Baskin at the end of the movie. Um, I thought the Dolphins were game, too. I thought they were really tough. You know, Peter, you used a word talking about Josh Allen and the highlight. What was it? Unadvisable? One of the most Ill unadvised, advised. ill advised plays. There's a lot of ill advised plays for Josh Allen. And, like, I, I would advise everyone to say that to his face and he should say, screw you. <laughs> We're 11 and 3 with my ill advised plays. And there's this thought, well, he's going to run into one of these great AFC teams. You mean, like, the ones he's already beaten? The Chiefs, the Ravens, the Dolphins, the Jets? He's beaten them all. Of course he's crazy. He's a lunatic. This is the second longest run of his career. He said he felt like Forrest Gump running down the sideline. I still see John Elway. I see a bigger, stronger John Elway, and John Elway led the league in inadvisable plays. That thing at the end of the half, anytime you can find a rookie running back in the back of the end zone, you have to throw it to him, Peter. <laughs> no time left. No, you have to. This play, of course, it's crazy. He is never not going to do that. So if you think it's going to cost him the playoffs, I don't know. You, he, I know he's not going to stop it, though. I still think he is the number one weapon in the entire league because he has the running over Mahomes, and he does some other things that nobody can do. 11-3. Uh, and three. They were 6-3. and three. They've won five in a row. They're the number one seed. And listen, they'll play the Bengals in a couple weeks. We'll see. We'll see what goes down. I gave Peter a hard time. The Dolphins did play well. They played really well. But the, the thing is, when Josh Allen plays this well, it doesn't matter how good any other team on the field plays. And what impressed me most about him was the third quarter was a struggle for Buffalo. Punt after punt after punt. And then the fourth quarter begins, and Josh Allen gets strip sacked by Jalen Phillips. Loses the ball. Really good play by Jalen Phillips, who had no shirt on in warm-ups. And you're just like, my goodness, the Dolphins have figured it out in this second half. And then the next series, first play, Josh Allen fumbles the ball yeah, again, was... and the Bills recover it. <laughs> but this guy just continues to attack a play later or two plays later. He takes it 40 no one does odd yards, and just he's unbelievable. And this drive ends with, obviously, a Dawson Knox touchdown. But I talked to a Bills player before the game. He didn't even use Josh Allen's name. He just calls him 17. Mm. 17 is unbelievable. 17 leads us. Whatever he does, we find a way to win games because of 17 and that's the Buffalo Bills season you can criticize them all you want if I'm starting a team and I need a quarterback Josh Allen's my guy wow. yeah wow. the Bills won they've been winning I feel like we know what the Bills are and we still are figuring out what the Dolphins are Tyreek Hill is really good 
What'd you say about Jalen Waddle? My goodness, he's fast. So fast. Whew. All right, Tyree Kill is the cheetah. Um, guys, I've decided that Jalen Waddle is uh, a swordfish. Uh, they can swim okay. 60 miles an hour. The billfish are the fastest animals in the sea. They're the ones with the long sword off the top. There's a couple other options you can pick from, but I'm going swordfish, all right? Better you gotta give him something because he's fast. Yeah, Waddle. They give it, he, well, I know, but he, <laughs> penguins are, his name. I did. He did. I mean, he's this not a penguin. The play. Penguins hold together. It's very moving. Morgan Freeman narration. No, nope. swordfish out in the open. Got that sword right off the top of the nose. He is lethal within this offense. Look at him go. No, he's a swordfish. I just <laughs> changed it in my mind. So, right, it's not try. changing. Can't change my tune. We need a new celebration for him. Mm -hmm. We'll love. Oh, yeah. Do you think right. those two teams could face each other? <laughs> AFC Championships, something like that. Do you see the Dolphins being able to go into one of those Cincinnati? Really like, yeah, maybe. Maybe. I don't know. I, I don't would love to see it. There's five AFC teams. How about Tyreek in Kansas City for a playoff? Let's talk about another Florida team.